I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy, and welcome into another video in our continuing series. It is December, it is the height of the holiday busy season in hair salons and barber shops, and whether you know it or not, the holiday season is also peak season for scissor sales in the beauty and barber industry. A lot of beauty and barber professionals are flush with cash. Heavy holiday traffic brings in extra income, it brings in extra tip income, and occasionally it brings in extra income in the force of, form of holiday gifting. So December, the holiday season, and immediately after in January, is a very common time for beauty and barber professionals to make investments in upgraded tools things like scissors. So what I wanted to talk about today for a couple of moments is a couple of quick tips and tricks on what I call haircut hygiene. When it comes to working with scissors, some of the important elements of how we work with our scissors in haircutting for peak performance and long-term health, wellness, and durability. You know, carpal tunnel can be a challenge, carpal tunnel issues can be challenges that affect many haircutters, and if we start out with some good haircut habits, we can prevent some of those things. Anyone that knows me knows I love my feather switchblades. Feather switchblades have been part of my haircutting toolkit literally as long as I've been in the business. 30 plus years, my first job suggested I go out and buy a 5.5 inch feather switchblade scissor. And this is that scissor. 33 years later, the blades are new. What we love about switchblades, the blades go in the sharp spin and a brand new pair of blades on the scissor. Less than $15 puts a brand new scissor in your hand. High quality precision stainless steel construction made in Japan, world class product. Let's talk about a couple of things. Let's talk about palming your scissors. Palming your scissors is the idea that when you're doing anything other than cutting, your thumb is to come out of the thumb ring and you're to close your hand up around your scissors. Closing your hand up around your scissors closes the scissor tightly. When the scissor is closed tightly, the blades are together and hair cannot accidentally wander into the blades. As you're combing, sectioning, parting, or manipulating around a client, the scissors are closed up safely in your hand. If you keep your thumb in the thumb ring, the scissor is held at an open position and those internal edges, they're very, very sharp, that's why we love them, but they can do damage. They can cut something you didn't intend to cut. Close them up, thumb out, palm your scissors. Number two on the lift, thumb in. Thumb out to palm, thumb in to cut. And when you put your thumb in, and I'm gonna try to let you see this on camera, when you put your thumb in, notice, my thumb is not in thumb in like this. My thumb is in that much literally about a third of my thumbnail extends into the ring. And I've got the point of my thumbnail against the ring to control it open and closed. When you insert your thumb all the way in, look how my hand has to operate to operate the scissor. When my thumb is in, look what's happening now. Nothing moves but my thumb. The rest of my hand remains still and stable as we cut. So a very small portion of your thumb. Those of you that like to use rubber inserts, an advantage, and the size of this dictates that I only put my thumb in with no insert, but those of you that like rubber inserts, sometime will dig that thumbnail into the insert slightly as a way of gaining grip or traction on the scissors for greater control. So softer thumb rings, some of the ones that are made from silicone as opposed to hard plastic, are wonderful for those purposes. But notice, I have a still blade and a moving blade. The moving blade is moving and the still blade is not moving, or still, as we would say. That stability is essential for clean precision cutting. Last on the list, we go to that issue of stability. And if you look at my fingers, you'll notice Right here on my finger, next to my nail, I have a small area that has, over years, developed a calloused spot. That is because every time I cut hair, I set the tip of my scissors on that spot, and I walk along my finger. You'll notice when I cut hair, I don't cut hair here in outer space. I stabilize the scissors against my finger. And notice, I can look at the camera. I don't need to look at my finger as I'm opening and closing the scissors. Because when the scissors is rested stably on my finger, and I open and close the scissor in that way, I can't cut finger. 
I can only cut the hair that is protruding out of my fingers. I have the stability to maintain contact with and to cleanly follow my guide, and I have control, and I also have the stability of the non-moving blade. When the non-moving blade rests on my finger, only the moving blade is moving. That will yield cleaner lines, better performance, it'll yield nicer finish to the haircut, more precise control relative to your guide, which is happy customers, happy haircuts, and happy profits, and happy bottom lines. Those are my three big tips for haircutting hygiene with your feather switch blade shears. Enjoy your holiday season, generate lots of extra revenue, treat yourself to quality tools, and remember, have a great day. JATAI.net on the web for more information from Jatai, and you can find me online at clipperguy.com. Have a great holiday season. Thank you.